Hello guys, uh, I just want to talk about some sense features that some of you guys might be interested in. Uh, this is a T-Mobile G2. Uh, it is rooted and it has the Virtuous ROM, which has sense. Uh, some of you guys are probably on the border of switching to sense, but you guys don't really want to. But um, so far it's really nice and I think it's better than stock, but you should try it out. I definitely would recommend trying out Sense. Uh, first off, the phone app. I'm going to cover it so you guys don't see the numbers. Uh, it has a smart dial feature, which is, a, which is, uh, it's not focusing, sorry about that, which is a lot better than on stock Froyo where you would have to drag and find your contacts or go on favorites. Uh, it has the pinch to zoom feature, Oops. which lets you zoom and choose one of those wallpaper. Uh, I mean screens. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, the camera app. The camera app is a lot better. It looks better. It has the zoom bar on the left. It has tap to focus, which is not. I wouldn't say it's not responsive, but it's pretty responsive, but not perfect. But it's pretty nice. Um, the clock app. The clock app is one of my main reasons I switched because I couldn't stand uh, the stock Froyo clock app. This lets you add an alarm by scrolling. Yeah. I like this a lot more. It's kind of like the iPhone app where you get to scroll to choose your time. In Froyo, you had, I mean, Stock Froyo, you had to uh, choose a number, and I thought that was kind of a pain. Uh, it also has a, a stopwatch and a timer, which works pretty well. Yeah, I find it a lot more useful. Um,. What else? The weather app. The weather app looks really nice. Uh, music. Music app is a really, uh, really good feature on Sense. The music app. It's a lot better than Stock Froyo, in my opinion. It's kind of like an iPod where you have the cover flow. I don't have any album pictures, so you guys don't really see the album. So, yeah. For example, when this is playing, I can turn it off. And when I turn it on, it would have the album art. And then I could pause it just by pressing pause. I could choose the next song just by pressing these buttons. And uh, another good feature is how it has the music app uh, in the notification bar. Oh, that's what's the recent, recent opened app, so I don't really like it, but if you guys like recently opened, that's pretty cool. Uh, you can just pause the music app just by pressing pause. It also has song name and song artist. Uh, and let me text my own phone so I can show you guys what it looks like because I really wanted to see what it looks like but no one really showed it on other videos okay so you can tell I have a missed text and someone just texted me it says new messages as a number and it has the Te uh, it has part of the text on the bottom right and I thought that looks cool and on the messages app it tells you how many missed texts you have so it's just eye candy okay now I'm gonna show you what it looks like when someone calls you So it has the cute android picture on the top. It would have a picture of the person if you have it. 
and you press down you drag down to answer it and uh, you drag up to decline it and it would have a picture of the person if you have them and and calls on the bottom the speakerphone is here mute dial pad yeah I think it's a lot better than the stock froyo uh, and you can just end the call just by going on notifications which is pretty useful uh... let's see what else well some of you guys might be might want to keep the um... the old live wallpaper which they do have it let me see this was my favorite live wallpaper for stock froyo it's the nexus one well it came with the nexus it was the first to have it uh, on the nexus one and yeah it it has it, but I don't think it looks as good. Maybe it's just a the theme of it. It looks better with the sense wallpaper. So that's pretty much it. It's pretty, pretty responsive. I think Stock Froyo is a bit faster, but they're both pretty fast. I definitely would recommend it. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.